Hello, I'm James Parkin, and welcome to Living Life DMG style. Now, in this video, I want to talk about muscular dystrophy. Well, pretty much every video, you know, has got something to do with it because I have it. But, what I want to talk about is actually other animals that have muscular dystrophy. He's not necessarily called Duchenne and other animals, but he. I've got similar issues to what I have. And it's mainly also about dogs and cats who have like, a type of muscular dystrophy that's a result of a fault on the X chromosome, which is what Duchenne is. So I want to have a, have a look and see what it, any evidence about it. Something like that. I'm no scientist, but I'll have a look, see what I can find out. So that's what I've been doing. And here's what I found out. Now on the screen, I've got up. I typed in muscular dystrophy in dogs and cats, and I found this, uh, which is X linked. Muscular dystrophy, but Duchenne's an X linked muscular dystrophy, so it's similar. And I read that it could be found in multiple different breeds, and that it was due to mutations in the dystrophin gene, and it was a problem with mainly male dogs. And cats as well so and it says further down where the mouse the mouse is the, the it was muscle fibers on the biopsy well I had a muscle biopsy when I was two and the lack of treatment it also shows that no, there isn't a cure for it so I had no search of muscular dystrophy in dogs and I came across this which shows some of the signs that a dog's got muscular dystrophy and about how awkward it is with his back legs and also how the bones on the dog's spine the ribs and skull are more pro prominent than an average dog and you can see it by this example this dog where he you can probably see the outline, it's skull more than what a regular dog is. But it seems happy chappy. Like, I can tell from a million miles away if someone has Duchenne just by looking at them. Because everyone's faces have similarity. And I can tell this dog that he's got some sort of muscle issue just by. Like, the way the face looks. I just feel like I can't see a resemblance. Or just maybe me rambling on. As for cats, the most common form of muscular dystrophy is something called hypertrophic muscular dystrophy. And it, it's mainly in male cats. And it's very much probably the closest muscular dystrophy that I've found in animals that's closely to Duchenne and usually reported problems with like the throat and esophagus of the cat and these pictures and diagrams probably explain and show you what a cat with this condition looks like. Now there's also other animals that can get Duchenne or a neurological condition like Duchenne and there's examples in mice, pigs, horses and a few other animals. Now there's one controversy and that is to do animal testing because it has been known for dogs to be bred with Duchenne so the 
scientists could test out for a cure. And that is very controversial. And it's an argument which I don't really know enough about really to mention anything else on this video. But as far as I know, is that they've done tests on mice and the mice are cured for you mice. And they've done tests on a dog. And one dog's mice to have show the reverse of the symptoms of if it i.e. gets a bit stronger. So the future's bright for controversial base you know just leave it there really. Now I found the research into this video quite interesting fascinating is I really learnt a lot by doing it to find out a lot of things which I didn't know before. And I really hope this video's done the same for you and you found out more or found it interesting. Because I certainly did. Now, thank you for watching this video and thank you for watching all the other recent videos. I really appreciate it. I've got a lot of things coming up over the next few weeks. So stay tuned for for that. It should be really good. Now on that note, I'll see you on the next one.